Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shaking on popular demand. Today we are going to make samosas. Samosas is something we all usually make at home, the Punjabi style, by adding in some peas, cashew nuts, and garam masala and other spices and so on. Today I am going to show you my take on the street style. It's going to be super delicious. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Making these street style samosas is very easy, just that it's very time consuming. I've already boiled the potatoes about 2 hours back and they are cooling down right now. So I'm to begin making the dough now. Here I have about 2 and 1 fourth cup of plain flour or maida. I'm going to add in salt to it. You can add in a pinch of ajwain or carom seeds if you want to. This is 2 and 1 fourth cup of plain flour or maida. I'm going to add in 3 tablespoons of oil to this. You can also use ghee if you want to. Let me transfer this to a bigger bowl. The bowl seems a little small to me. Now we are going to rub the oil with the flour really well. You may know this as short crust method or moan in Hindi. Now if you see the consistency is very similar to uh, bread crumbs and if I take a little bit of this plain flour mixture and press it, it forms that shape. So this looks perfect to me. Now we are going to add in little water at a time and form this to a stiff dough. Stiff dough is the key for making the perfect steep style samosas cover. So be very careful with the water. If you add a lot of water, then your samosas will not get as crispy as we want it to be. I have transferred my mixture into this platform so that I can pack it really well into a dough. So my dough is formed. I am to place this in the bowl again. This is a very stiff dough. I am to cover this and keep this for about 2 hours to rest. 1 hour is also good enough if you don't have enough time. But 2 hours is better. I am to cover this and let this stay for about 2 hours. And after that we are going to roll out the samosas. Now we are going to make the masala for our samosas. For that we are going to take a little bit of mint. A little bit of coriander leaves. I am to take about 2 inches of ginger. 2 green chilies going to add in some water to it and I am going to cover this and blend this to a paste. A lot of you guys have asked me for making the exact street style masala. One of the main step is to make a paste of mint and coriander. The next main step I am to talk about. So we am to heat up the pan. I am going to add in about uh, 2 teaspoons of oil to this. The next main step is to cook the spices in the oil and that is what brings out the exact flavor. So we are going to do it now. I am going to take the spices one by one. The oil is moderately hot. I am to begin by taking red chili powder, chili flakes, coriander powder, kasuri methi powder, amchur powder, whole coriander seeds and fennel seeds whole kasuri methi, cumin powder, black salt. I am to give it a stir to uh, avoid letting the spices burn. I am also going to add in a little bit of black pepper, a touch of garam masala and finally salt. This smells so fragrant and that was a lot of spices wasn't it? You can find a detailed recipe in the description box down below with all the ingredients there. Now I am going to add in the uh, mint and coriander paste to this. I am to add in a little more water to our jar and uh, get all that flavor out. This already smells like samosas to me. I'm going to add in the potatoes to this now. These are about 7 potatoes boiled and mashed roughly with hands. It is your choice if you want to add in some uh, peas or cashew nuts all up to your preference. The masala looks absolutely ready to me. I am to get this down to a bowl now. I literally can't wait to make the samosas now. 
this is a little too hot for me but here goes the taste test the spices salt everything is just perfect now i'm going to wait for it to cool down completely and now do to rest after that we're going to make the samosas so our dough has well rested for quite some time i'm going to take off the cloth and i'm going to knead this dough out for a minute or so I'm going to make this smooth and pliable this is good enough for now i'm going to divide this dough into four portions now so the dough portions are ready i'm going to smooth them out like this and i'm going to keep this aside for about 5 minutes or so after that we're going to roll it out into oblong sheets you see how stiff yet pliable the dough is this is what we are looking for so my dough portions have rested for about 5 minutes now i'm going to roll them out so i'm going to keep the rest of the dough portions covered all the time and here i have my dough portion and a rolling pin i'm going to roll it So I've rolled it out to a, a oblong sheet, and I'm going to cut it in uh, two parts, and then I'm going to explain more about this oblong sheet. So I'm going to keep a portion aside, and uh, here you see. So uh, this is the oblong sheet that we have chopped into two portions, and this uh, determines the height of your samosa, and this is going to be the width of your samosa. So uh, half of this is going to be the height of your samosa. So now we're going to roll it further. So here my sheet is ready for me to make samosas and here I have some water I'm to dip my fingers in it and I'm to wet the half portion of the height of a samosa The masala looks absolutely ready as well and uh, here I have the mixture so what I'm to do is I'm to see see the motion I'm to do it like this I'm I'm pressing it from the inside Now you can see how this is resting on my two fingers. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to take the masala and fill it. Now you can see again how I have filled the samosa. It is absolutely ready for me to seal it. So uh, this is the bottom portion of your samosa. I'm going to take some water again in my fingers. I'm going to coat this portion with water and this edge as well. Now what I'm going to do is take my index finger and my middle finger and I'm going to take it like this and I'm going to seal it. Here you see I'm taking my index finger and thumb and I'm going to seal it like this. Now you can see my samosa is ready and it is standing. This is not the best samosa I have made so far but you get the point I'm going to make more samosas like this. We're going to rest our samosas in a plate which has a edge border like this. I'm going to place it in the edge so that it can stand. Now we're going to let it rest for 30 minutes or so. All my samosas are ready and they have rested for about 45 minutes or so, and they are ready to fry now. And uh, how you can check whether they are ready or not is by feeling the skin of your samosa. you might feel it is moist or dry you want it to be dry and rough so here i have some oil heating up the oil is warm and to add in the samosas now in goes the samosa you can actually see the oil is warm no bubbles are seen and even i can actually touch the oil it is normal so if i add the samosas in the warm oil and it will take a lot of time to cook the samosas close to about 45 minutes and the oil is really warm right now it is going to heat up slowly and steadily as the samosas cook so we have to just let it fry we are almost there these are fried to golden we have to fry it for just a minute more and then we have to take it out to the plate my samosas are fried i'm to take them out now These guys are ready but not ready to consume here these are piping hot right now you need to wait at least 20 minutes before you can dig in otherwise you will burn yourself so just be careful after about 20 30 minutes or so we're going to serve them out 
I have spent a lot of time making them. I guess the effort will be all worth. So let me try them. The cover of the pastry is absolutely perfect and the masala inside is just icing on the cake. Absolutely flavorful, much better than the street style I must say. So why not you try it and let me know how it goes for you. I'm eating these samosas with my tamarind and jaggery chutney. If you want to try it, do let me know. I'll put up the recipe for that soon as well. That's all for today. Watch more and subscribe.